Uh, at which point, Gatharis is going to be like, well, at least everybody can see what I see now. So... <laughs> the world is so, a lie. So Carly... Carly holds the skull by, like, that curvy part of the back of the... By the curvy part of the back of the skull. So the jaw is, like, on the wrist. And we'll say... What were the things again? The molly, silly, whatevers? Silly malu. Silly malu. Silly. Here, I, silly I'll spell it with my non-existent tongue. Okay. Cool. What is that? Well, we don't really know. We don't... It's, these things aren't even legends. I've never heard of one. The... 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 Uh, I don't even know what they do. What if my 20, 20, um, oh, it'd be 24, um, 24 intelligence. So for that, you're able to see, you know, a little more and see how farther, but basically you, uh, you are coming to the basic realization that you, you don't remember anything about this carnival, which is why when earlier you were like, well, what's going on? Where is everything? Why is... Even even the people that you thought you knew and had facts on are starting to seem like, did I really know them or were they really? What's going on with it? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try something. Go ahead. Female forms of just having it. So there's a double. When did this devil even show up? Yours, mine. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? The Florence, the other Florence, when did she show up? Yeah, when wedge killed her. Not like exactly after, it was more of a... I killed you, I moved Carly's body out of the way, she was fucking unconscious, and then when you picked you up, you started to leave, and then that's when you sh other you showed up. Why isn't that just looking wedge? much more dirtier look like I swear I would love to say it's your fault in this instance nothing is my fault yes the heck it is nope you don't think that was uh, my, your fault it's living okay whatever proof it is that if something happened because of uh, A plus B whatever the heck you did caused a duplicate to show up so I hold, I hold this skull in my hand, and I say, that person who just walked in and then left, what did they look like? Hey, Kiska. What did they look like? What do you mean? What did they look like? They look like her. Like her? Yes. Are you holding anything back? Ow. Oh. I may have not mentioned that that thing isn't real. What thing? Whatever that thing was. I don't Sorry. know what those are. It doesn't make sense. It's it's part of the silly Malu. <laughs> yes. Okay. Why don't we try something? And I hold the skull up a little higher, and I say, what do you think will happen if I just spike this into the ground? I right, don't do that now, please don't. I look at Wedge. I look away from the skull. What do you think will happen? <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> Meanwhile, Florence is like, yeah, and I I didn't look, at, look to be a well dead and then see my own damn double. So it makes two of us. Since since Wedge was uh, given a question, instead of answering the question, he walks over to Carly, grabs the skull, violently shakes it, and yells, "Make goddamn sense!" <laughs> uh, you see his eyes like rattle back and forth in the skull, which makes no sense because he only has the one eye, which is a jewel. And he's like, <laughs> I'm fucking. You make sense. 
fucking weird fucking ranges thinking they're hiding outside when there's no thing to hide behind silly ranges so I take the skull back and I say I swear to whatever god you want to believe in I'm, I'm an atheist <laughs> not interrupt <laughs> I will personally make it so that whatever Wedge does to you hurts a lot. I don't know how I'll make a skull hurt, but I'll make it happen. I'm trying to understand the fact that, um, you know. I'm talking! I'm doing something! <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. 81. Alright, let's see. I can't catch it, but it doesn't hit the ground yet. Doing something! Called me a silly ranger. You oh, are a silly ranger! Right now, yes, you are. You hear porn say, yes, the heck you are. Nah. Alright, there. You, you tell me, tell me me again in the back then. So, uh, as soon you. as, as soon as Michael smacks him, uh, he needs to make a, uh, constitution save. Okay. Yeah, which one in the middle of it? That's a 15. That's a 12 plus 3. Okay, so you don't get the full effect, but uh, you suddenly cough up a bar of soap. You know, just that because I'm an earth canossi and naturally dumb slash dirty, this is bullshit. See, I'm gonna throw the you, bar of soap at the skull. See, that's what you get, to be honest. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm tr okay, guys. Guys. I cover, I use my hands and I cover where the skull's ears would be. <laughs> and I stand there intimidate him, making sure he's telling us everything he knows. It's like, but I hope you me. know that I don't have eardrums anymore. <laughs> I hear through my nose. <laughs> is like, oh, goodness sakes. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been stuck on that chair for like 50 years. Okay. At least. And before that, I think there was... Uh, I, I don't even know. It's, it's been so many years sitting on a chair. I think that there was a cleric and some weird machine person. Or, or maybe not. I don't know. If I may ask... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean machine person and... Get your finger out of his nose. <laughs> oh, thank you. I can hear you again. Meanwhile, Florence is going to try to remember, remember those people. I know that's an intelligence check. Yes, it's going to be an intelligence we, check. What if, we would have had them. We would have met them before in the last few days. Would you? Um, Probably. Yeah. I don't know how long I've been here. I think it's been several hundred years. For all I know, it's been five minutes. Uh, so often those feel the same. It's okay, so does Florence. Technically, even Florence. And then, uh, now it's Wedge's turn to once again make an intelligence check. To see if he can catch up all the way. <laughs> That's a 14. God damn it, Wedge! Can I assist him with with an intelligence check? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm just now. Come on, Wedge, you're almost there. There are no walls here. Listen, I know there's not much going on like up here, but you got this. Wedge. I'm not gonna okay. argue with that. And you hear Florence say, "I'm not gonna argue with that because right now, and I'm just on my double." It's been a weird day for all of us, but no, no, a weird day was. Waking up and not finding my familiar after being uh, almost uh, completely dead. Well, speaking, dead speaking of a familiar, guess who's finally made it back? Holy You're really good. Yeah, Ursula made it back finally. Hey, it's right there. Okay, okay. If there's a double of Florence, of me, 
Can I check, make sure it is the real Ursul? Tee hee. <laughs> For the love of God, Lawrence is paranoid right now. <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, it's Ursul. You you can tell because you can make your telepathic connection. And which Lawrence kind of hugs it and just starts kind of like <laughs> crying. I pat her hair. I pat her hair and I say, now, Skull. My, I have a name. What is it? Yeah, wait, Didn't you hear him? It was Jenny Cataracts or something. Karth Katharis answers, quack. Shut up, Donnie. You mean Generac? Yeah, that sounds about right. I want him to say it. Jenna, Jen, Jenny Rax? I want him to tell me what his name is. Oh, it's, it's Jenny Rax? Jenny Rokes? Baroque works. <laughs> Insight check. I don't believe the talking skull. Having a moment. Nineteen. So, uh, he seems pretty sure of himself. He seems pretty damn sure that he is Dejanerox. Or Dejanerax. Because. So, I. I. Poke the little skulls no, where the note. And when you hear Florence say, "And excuse me, if and your master didn't help it by killing me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all have time to kill each other later. Can you get me out of this tent? I've been stuck here. I don't have legs. It would. Ursula kind of snapped. All right. Off. Well, it, it's it's not a tent, but it was a tent when I got here. There was a boar here when I got here too. But you know, 200 years to do that to a tent and a boar. Meanwhile, uh, Ursul is snapping at a uh, wedge. Like, angrily, a little mad. At which point Donnie's like, uh-huh. <laughs> Donnie makes I... human, uh, by the way, for people who didn't know, he makes human uh, onomatopoeias. So he can sigh. He, do he says sigh, though. That... Fucking adorable. Oh, Donnie is a very fleshed out character. I love him. Oh, everybody yeah. loves Donnie. Except for like two characters. <laughs> and that's okay, because so, everybody else loves Donnie. So I have this skull in my hands and I say, so hey, remember how that guy shook you around a lot? And I make sure he doesn't try to grab him again. <laughs> I swear. You know what? Florence is going to look at him and say, you know what? And you are a very horrible person. You're the one that started this. There's a reason why I'm t there's two of me running around here, and that's going to be a field day. At which point, Generax says, actually, that's going to happen for all of you. <laughs> all of us. Yeah, 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 I'm going to have a double. Yeah, unfortunately, they're not usually the nicest people to their originals. Or anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of I kind of lean in towards the skulls. Neither am I. You don't say. But would we hear? Oh. Wait, what? Would you fuck? Would you fuck a clone of yourself? I mean, yes. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Somebody has to do it. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, you know what? I might be according to you to uh, two. And she points to you, him, and then where he, she last saw the serpent. I might be according to that, a bad pet owner. But I at least don't kill people just because they're, uh, uh, I have anger issues. Honey, you're not supposed to be angry about that anymore. You are I'm not. I normally, normally I would say let it go, but then there's that. And she points to where the devil was. I mean, well, you know, no one's exactly saying that the double is because of me. Okay, then wh what else is the reason that it appears? I don't know. Who knows? It's an action. No, it's a Simimalu, as you call it. Simimalu! What the? Okay, can Florence know what the hell is a, a, a Simimalu? Make an arcana check. Me too! 
I'm not even going to bother with that, because that's not Wedge, is a superiority area. Oh, also, speaking of which, I'm going to shut the mic off for just a moment, because it's going to get fiery up in this bitch. That's 12. Uh, 24. Ooh. Okay. Also, you're, you're saying it's a bad thing that I kill people. You, before I was here, just whatever the fuck this is, I made a very nice living killing people. Oh, then why don't you go back to doing it? And when she kind of hums and looks away. Okay. And because Coddles this was a nice area for free food and hiding from authorities who throw, could throw me in jail. Frankly, you should have been thrown in jail. Florence. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have had generic revival. You know what? And how about you should have never killed me in the first place? You better, uh, you know what? At, w at which point, Janarak speaks out and is just like, What do you mean? I didn't revive anybody. Well, well somebody were... fucking revived her who looked like, like and called himself Janarak. Okay. Well, there, I very carefully sit the skull on the chair and I say, I'll be right back. I still have the hat on my head, by the way. I'm gonna sit on the skull. At which point, Janarak says, I don't think any self respecting glitch would carry true revive. Oh, great. Oh, okay. well, obviously it wasn't a lich then. Something, someone, anything, whatever it was, do dad. So bad. Her. She was dead because I didn't really feel her. Because before you were an You seem pretty happy before about that. Wedge, before Wedge tries to sit on the skull, and before Florence tries to argue anymore, <laughs> I, say, I say, that is enough to of you. <laughs> okay, shush, but he's the one that's in the wrong, but yet his head snake is there. Him and his head snake just stand here and stop and call me a bad head owner. Where I go, I am ringmaster right now, and if you do not hush. <laughs> Janarak's just sitting there, just like, he's like, I wish I had hands so I could face palm. Oh, what? <laughs> Thank you. Your hands are sweaty. You know? Yeah, yeah, I my, it is. I put my hands on both their shoulders, and I say, for like 20 minutes, don't argue. Just don't argue. Ignore each other. You must, don't argue. Oh, that reminds me. That one was too much. Uh, for, for... <laughs> for for about skull. five seconds after smacking the skull, when you do the face palm, your head resembles a great military leader from your country. Hey, <laughs> which Florence is like, oh, right, you know what? How about this? I go outside or wherever. No, no, no. Yes. No, no, no. I mean, what else is gonna happen? Another Florence is gonna show up, poof, right in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I know you're the real you. I don't actually know if Wedge is the real Wedge, but I know you're the real you, so you're going to stay in my sight. Which reminds me, for that Arcana check, uh, you, uh, the person who got 24, which I believe was Florence, knows that uh, Silly Malu is like a very, very old, old story about something that you didn't think existed, but you can't quite remember exactly what it was. You just know that it was, it was like, I mean, legend beyond legend. Like this thing makes the terrace look like an everyday occurrence with the amount of times it showed up. It shows up like twice in any historical documents you've ever heard of. And both of them were like considered to be like uh, drug trips or like insane people hallucinating. Even if it is what he's saying, it's a, it's most people argue that it was a drug trip hallucination. Which, if it isn't, then uh, more power to you. Then I am all for letting you guys have fun with it. But at this point, I'm going to see if I can try to get out of here. And you know what? No. Right no. Right chart. Right I will the grab the back of her shirt, and she will not be leaving me. You can't leave me. And I mean, you, why not have him keep Wedge? Because Wedge apparently the better, uh, apparently a better responsible 
pet owner than myself. <laughs> I love that that's her whole <laughs> gripe right <laughs> now is the <laughs> pet owner thing. <laughs> And now, I may be a bad person morally, but I always know where and take care of Sarah's show. Even though he forgets about him half the time. And with Florence, it's like, whoa, well, and you say this like I forget about Sarah's <laughs> You did not too. <laughs> and now. Hey, hey, hey. She was dead. What do you mean? <laughs> I know, and that's why she's getting dead. <laughs> it's like you forgot your pet. What do you mean when you dragged my dead body out of there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got to remember, Wedge has a minus one to intelligence. Yes, but still, Florence is going to have to say your <laughs> You're just gonna have to roll intelligent get against him and just convince him he's an idiot. <laughs> you roll with disadvantage. Well, ignore everything else that's going on right now, and he's gonna turn to the skull of this so-called Generax skull and be like, it's I've never had head. a talking skull before. Get out of here, you wanna join me? I have... <laughs> Quack. Florence, I'm gonna what do you mean you're not a skull, Donnie? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Great. Okay. What the heck is this wisdom save for? I'm yeah, feeling it's, it's for mocking. What, what is it? Oh, oh, I crit fail. Oh no. You crit fail. Okay. Let's see. Um, you take three damage, and I say, I said enough for being a child. I'm being the child. And she points to Anne while she's holding her head. I, will, I swear to God, I will cast this three again. Wedge giggles. <laughs> Wisdom More wisdom Wedge. saving throws. Wedge, make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> he didn't have his dice. While we're waiting for that to happen, I say. That's a 17 we, wisdom. You're fine. I say. We need to figure this out. So for now. You're gonna set aside your petty squabbles. It's not petty. It's You're, gonna set, to me. You're gonna set aside your petty squabbles. <laughs> and you're going to play nice. If you have to ignore each other, fine. That's fine. I'm gonna sit here making friends with the skull. You are not a good person, <laughs> person with snake. You're a good person, snake. You should be the person, snake. Don't, don't, don't go on for that, Sarah Show. That's a good thing he only speaks to Who says I don't? <laughs> <laughs> it was Florida translated every into that conversation. I, was just, <laughs> I just laugh. It's like, does everyone here speak Draconic? I don't. Catharis raises his hand. <laughs> Quack. Yes, I do, Donnie. It goes like, it goes like Quack, right? Quack. No, that's not duck. I keep telling you, I duck turn... is not a hard language. I turn to the skull and say, I'm surrounded by children, aren't I? I'm surrounded by ducks. And when Florence says, I'm not technically a child, but I'm not going to be... But you... But you are a duck, right? Or are my eyes playing tricks on me again? Yeah. Shit! Yeah, because I'm not a duck. Donnie, I told yeah. you I should not have eaten that mushroom I found on the chair. <laughs> you won't the point. Just, just stay with me. Completely ignore he exists. You're smarter than him anyway, darling. Just stay with me. And oh, you'll thank you. Thank you. That's appreciative. But at the same token, there, uh, can we go back to the fact that this is a, there's a difference between a petty show that does not apparently that does not exist and the fact that the, and then he literally tried to kill me and then sits here insulting me. Okay, that's his way of joking. It's really, you know what I think it is, darling. I think he has a little crush on you, and so oh, he's God. the only way he can. He's not oh. very. He's not very good. So, oh gosh. Is this is what. 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 Is
So wait, I forgot. The skull was on the ground, right? No, the skull was in my hand. Oh, that's right. All right, so someone... You set the skull on the throne. I picked it back up after I was done... Uh, yeah, she, thre she threatened to shake it. And other and, and dumb shit. That's why I was double-checking. Done because technically, Florence, I'm also your boss, so I'm telling you. <laughs> and, uh, I just love that argument. It's always, I am your boss. That isn't a really good reason, Florence points out. I mean, you think it sounds like a bunch of bullshit, and you be here. How long have you been here, Florence? 30. 30 what? Years. Lies. Insight checker, she's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you, were not, you were new. You were brand new. No. no. She was introduced as new, but she, uh. And you never insight checked that initial statement. Bitch. She worked for Gun. <laughs> she worked as an undercover agent, basically, for Gunter. Now, granted, that might all be totally fictional at this point, but at least that was her her original carnival backstory. Yes. <laughs> See, I don't even know how that one works. I gotta check this. Well, that's what you want? Damn. That's a lie. That's not a lie. He's like funny, and she's just like, yeah, I'm older, probably older than you. You're almost definitely older than me. I'm 35. <laughs> I mean, any are you? I'm basically like a 15 year old. I didn't. Oh really Lord, why does it always do that? <laughs> I'm going to walk off of the boar skull, climb off of the boar skull, not walk off of it like I'm jumping to my death with the skull. That reminds me. Did Michael ever see the f real world? <laughs> I don't remember if that ever happened or if he never actually got to see what was going on. I tried so hard. I tried to help him. I like how that conversation goes with her saying, I'm 30. And then she's just like, no, I'm 30. I love that response. Damn it. Uh, at which point uh, you just randomly hear, he's running away with me. No, he's in my hand. Uh, yeah, someone may have made a nice, uh, stealth, uh, sleight of hand roll, which you'll have to block. I mean, yeah, I, I rolled a 25 on stealth, and then a 22 for sleight of hand to steal the skull and run off. Unfortunately, the skull, uh, the skull doesn't know where he's going, and he's already been hit by this person twice. Yeah, see, I don't blame him. He says, like, he's running off with me! Also, uh, this skull, this skull might like girls. <laughs> Sexist skull. Um, I don't even know what resist sleight of hand. I, mean, I guess it would be sleight of hand. Okay, um, 26. Oh shit. Ah, she kept the skull anyway. Ah, ah, ah. My sleight of hand is plus seven. Plus seven with Okay, and with well, the point. Know how she would counter a sleight of hand that she didn't know was coming. The point being, even with the stealth, the the sleight of hand check 
is gotta go against something. Cause it's, Plus, there's I no like check flat out. check for those kind of things as opposed to like just stealing things off of people. Let's see. I hope I used to be a pickpocket. So. And so I'm the one that's actually younger than my age. He's actually more immature than me both So, and the other thing is, so for example, uh, a DC of 20 lets you lift a small object from a person. And to make a reference to what a small object is, as opposed to a human head, the next level is 10 and it's a coin sized object. So a small object when you pickpocket would usually be something roughly double that size, maybe a watch or a jewel or something that would fit in one hand, basically, and be able to pawn it. At least in the classic pickpocketing sense. Whereas in order to like pickpocket a uh, human skull, which is mm, roughly the size of, you know, an Xbox, yeah, I'd say that's, that's a, pretty, a pretty big fucking skull. I'm, I'm giving the average measurements. I'd say you put your uh, Xbox up to your head, the overall mass or uh, volume would be the same as a human skull. It's a little taller, like an inch or two, but it's super skinnier. <laughs> Plus, I used to be a pickpocket, so it's sort of ingrained in me certain pickpockety tricks. It also does not help that the skull is... Uh, not wanting to be pit-pocketed, and uh, he's just like, hey, she's stealing me. <laughs> or sorry, he's <laughs> he's just gonna call you a woman for no reason. She's stealing me, because I'm a man, are you sure? Okay, well, Lord's just like, yeah, and I'm in the truth. Hold on a second, hold on one second, please. GM. Yeah. If I were to say, cast a spell like suggestion, could my limited to a sentence or two command activity be listen to whatever I say for the duration of this spell? Uh, those ones I think are usually more too general. I think it has to be a course of limited to a two magically influence. I think there's a limit to it. Let me see. Let me see. Suggestion. One, it has to be sound. It has to be worded to sound reasonable. We're pausing the world right now. The witch is like in the midst of running away. Um, it's just a matter of course. It's not reasonable. Know, it might be all right. Make sure to stab himself, throw it into a spear, mobilize himself, multiply himself, or any other. I mean, technically, it should be feasible. Yep. Especially because with concentration, that spell lasts up to eight hours. So eight that's hours. what I was wondering for the overall thing. And then I was just looking for the thing. But yeah, you could basically just be like, but once again, you'd have to word it correctly, right? So listen to what I say for the next eight hours. That's not necessarily reasonable, especially not for him. Make for me a wisdom save. We should stop making me do things when I'm going out to vape. Why are you always going out to vape? Because I'm a nicotine whore. Yeah, I know you whore. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he's always like, I'm sometimes a whore. You're always a whore, Michael. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nat, 20 on the wisdom save. Well, he resisted um, that. Hey, quick question. Yeah. Does Bardic Inspiration, can, I, can that affect a nat 20? If I were to uh, cutting words in? I don't think so, but I don't know. No, cutting words, as a reaction when a creature that's not immune to being charmed, you can see within 60 feet, makes an attack roll, ability check, or damage roll, you can expend one use of Bardic Inspiration, roll the die, and subtract the number from the creature's roll. You can do so after the, oh. 
after the roll, but before knowing the result. So I don't technically know the result, I just know the roll was a nat 20. It's not asking me to re-roll the die. I would have to roll the die nat here. Yeah. So I don't technically know the result, it it wouldn't matter. Uh, so it looks like they did make a ruling. Originally, you could, but that was an inconsistent tweet from one of the rule people. Because uh, basically, page one ninety four of the player's handbook specifically states afterwards that no bonus or penalty can change a critical hit. I was trying to catch Tasha's headache laughter on him. Yeah, I figured you were. But you failed. I mean, you oh, already gosh. resisted the, the pull, which once again, uh, pickpocketing something from somebody's pocket, much easier than pulling something out of somebody's hand, trust me, as somebody who has actually done stuff like that <laughs> and been yeah. caught and got away with it in different cases. For example... Oh, uh, Sorry, go ahead. Oh, so for example, wallets are extremely hard, actually. Like, thin little wallets aren't too bad, but most of the time, any wallet worth stealing is not, you're going to get someone caught, and you're either going to have to run, or you're just not going to get it because it is just much bigger than something like a watch, or for example, a cell phone is really good to grab. Um, there used to be, you know, different things people held. Money clips are pretty nice, but most people don't hold money clips anymore chains necklaces stuff like that depends on you, what your pull is for the pickpocket as opposed to just running up and being like give me that bitch <laughs> That's a different thing. not even yelling it but i mean not like once again just running up whoop, snatch and grab let's go honestly you probably would have had a better time with that with just like yanking it out of her fucking hand yeah probably but the, strength is not great but uh that wouldn't have been stealthy so yeah. There's a, there's a lot. It's 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 one of those tough things to do. Just for fun though, it's a fun a fun side thing. My initial thought was to cast suggestion, and then make him for the next eight hours do whatever I said. But then when that was like, no, that's too hard to work. I decided for Tasha City and laughter, and he saved. Yeah. yeah. Them rolls. I, I have the skull, so that's all that matters. For now, at which point uh, the skull doesn't like getting yanked around. So give me a second. Where is the damn? Oh no! Did I lose it? I couldn't have lost it. I love it. Where are you? All right, I'll find it again. I don't care. History. I'm sorry for yelling at you, dear. And I hold out my hand as if to hold her hand. Okay. And there it is. kind of one hand while she's still. Oh, I'm should I hit the wrong the thing? Yeah. Kind of like, I'm holding there the skull like against my stomach Ooh. now that it was almost stolen from me. Ha! And I say, not face first against my stomach. Like the side of his face is against my stomach. I say, I'm sorry for yelling at you here. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> bolt, everybody roll a d20. No, no pluses. Wedges running away laughing, he shouts, Still a bad pattern. That's a one. Okay. Uh, 19. Michael. <laughs> I rolled a seven. All right, Florence, uh, your bag now has one D100 gold pieces in it. Uh, also. This is going to hurt fuck with you, but it won't come into effect until about right now. Both Michael and Carly, uh, you can you get to you, you know, actually roll a, a, a D10, I guess, and pick odds or evens each of you. I'm going to pick odds. OK. 40. Okay. I rolled, I'll pick uh, even. I, I rolled a one. On my D10. Okay. So I'll that is even. odd. Even. And I rolled 
I rolled a two. Okay, so you both and I got even. You both got the one that you wanted, which is the matching one, so luckily you both uh, can't move your left arm for 1d4 turns. <laughs> Which arm was the skeleton in? Yeah, um... I don't know, that would make me, that would make more sense, but the choice for this random magic event was either left arm or right leg, so that was the one I was hoping for, so Wedge would just fall down as he were. <laughs> just, ha ah, ha 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 ha, bam! <laughs> and which Lawrence would have had a, a smile on her face, just like, yeah, see, I, see, I'm a good person, apparently. If the, yeah, apparently someone thought I deserve deserve that uh, to watch that as she feels kind of the weight meanwhile Warren feels the weight in her bag and she's like what the f and she kind of opens it kind of looks inside and says oh shit dude this dude t took a week and a half to get <laughs> it's like if you take a week and a half to respond to something you lost that is way too much time to respond to anything anyway <laughs> It's just, but uh, yeah, and once again, Wedge is in the wind. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I just put a dead arm, and I'm oh. holding a skull to my belly. Speaking of, uh, everyone is uh, gonna have to make an intelligence roll again. What is it for? Is it a magical effect? It is. So you can get okay. you can get your advantage. You know, this skull should probably be aware. Like, the top of its little skull is right on the underside of the boobs. It knows. <laughs> no. I really think we can that intelligence check. Um. I got a dirty 20. Okay. I got a 14. Alrighty, so. Uh, basically, Carly, you, uh, you maintain your view of the world as it was, but, uh, our other people are, unfortunately, everything's seeming a little bit wavy again. Oh, watch, watch Wedge, you might be falling on again. Well, not like that, but the, the world's, the world's not quite what it was before, whereas things were, you know, starting to seem kind of real, everything's starting to seem like carnival again. In fact, you see some people hanging about. Okay. Yeah. So I hold my ball back up. Sorry, go ahead, Florence. Uh, Florence, for the most part, is trying to hold her head together. She's kind of holding on. It's okay, this is danger. I hold the skull up. I hold the skull up, and I say. Where is the silly mile? Silly mile? Ah, yes. Silly mile. I mean, it's here. It's, it's it. This is it. But where is it, like, originally from? Hmm. Hmm. You, you who learned the legends, do, do you recall those legends and what they said about the silly mile? What it was? question before that happens um because i was because i'm a bard in the college of lore i probably heard a lot of stories right uh <laughs> history check uh no this one is more under an arcanic history than a general legend history Okay, uh, so basically it says, uh, you know, the, or you remember that the, uh, the closest thing to this monsterish thing, whatever it would be, that you had heard described is that it was like a mimic. Fucking mimics. But... 
you dismissed it because you'd never heard of anything nearly that big. Or as has a large appetite as a mimic. Yeah, and in addition, no no mimics that you'd ever heard of were magical in nature, but the uh, the thing from the story is absolutely magical in nature. Which warrants guns explains it to some degree, well, you know. Do I hear me? Do like do I hear what she's saying to me? Or is it she doing that weird thing with the mouth not lining up with the words she said? Uh, you, I mean, you should understand. I mean, for the most part, thing. Excellent. Yeah. 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 It's not too complicated. So, that's weird. That's weird. That's really weird, Florence. Um, like I said, I didn't study too much into it because of obvious reasons. Because, I mean, it's weird, but it's not, I mean, definitely doesn't have the interest in Hey, Skull. Ah, uh, yes. What happens if I give you top hat and cane back? Nothing. Inside check. Damn it. With with an uh, this from. Uh, thank you. That is a four and a nineteen. Plus my insight of three, so that is twenty-two. Uh, yeah, he's lying. Yeah, okay, I'm keeping the hand. Damn it! I want my hand, uh, my cane. Well, what does it actually do with you, sir? If I tell you, you won't give it to me. If you You're don't tell me, I won't give it to you. Exactly. Looking at it, could she kind of take a? Educated guess of what it does. Like, from it's on my head. Yeah, well, she's kind of looking at it from on card with that. Uh, you'd have to make an arcana check. Alright. Assisted! Yeah. Look at the velvet. <laughs> the velvet. 24! So, uh, upon looking at the hat, you see that the, the, the hat helps to, uh, basically raise intelligence slightly and it's just a nice hat also so do i feel a little smarter with it on nah you gotta tune to it how long does that take now yeah, you gotta like it's like a little ritual sleepy thing you gotta like focus on it while you like do a short rest wait a minute doesn't get a quick question doesn't florence have like uh, that cloak the anti-magic cloak thing. She may, if it is indeed that. Yeah, she does have, because she really didn't take it off. I mean, probably try to clean it off, clean the stuff off, the blood or whatever was on it. Yes. But just curious. Yes, I mean you have that. Uh, you have that cloth. That's for sure. Should I put the? I mean, you could. I think it'll be like need to look. It might. I mean, it looks like it does increase intelligence and some other probably little things, but I, like I said, need to back magic and get a five and really nail down the floor. And then an investigation check. Who? Who's that? Uh, both of you. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Eighteen. What? Ah, there we go. Yeah, that hat is regular as shit. It's a regular hat. It is so not. It's got a regular hat. Yeah, it's a regular hat. That cloak's regular too. So were my glasses, though. Yeah. Which Florence is like, wait a minute. Okay, now that I looked at it, really looking good. 
I'm just realizing that's a difference in our path. I had a 22. Also, you're you're able to kind of see once again that everything is not looking carnivalish. You're just like, where the. Meanwhile, boy. Like, I'm gonna go over guys just hiding. This is gonna give me a headache. I'm very carefully climb down off the boar, holding the skull close to me. Meanwhile, Keep along, like, kind of, like, chilling. Like, at least around her, like, wrap around, like, kind of, like, where she was perched. Mm. Well, as she, like, kept making sure her point gets down safe. Gotcha. So, mm. go ahead. No, no, you're good. I was looking at this thing. You're good. Okay. So in your in your silly milieu books, what? How do you how do you kill one? Ah. Like I said, uh, like I said, it is. Uh, it's very hot. Work it heck and which one? Please don't tell me when Jack says that. No. I mean, he's not so nearby you, as far as I know, right now. Yeah, so it's because yeah. he he's got to get fast. Is it? Yeah, why not? Uh, go do that for me, why don't you? Ah, no, the way you kill a silly Malu is you feed and see it. Have fun! Have fun! You should probably be here. <laughs> so, uh, I, I also should note, um, I'm holding, because I know the skull was trying to take it, was tried, tried to be taken from me before, I hold it with, like, I hold it, like, against my torso. And with one hand under it and one hand on the top of the skull, like on the crown of the skull. Okay. I have to hold it, I'm making sure I'm not it's not going anywhere. Speaking of which, your arms should probably work now. Okay. Oh, good. By the way, that's good. Um, and which Florence is going to examine the gold that's in her bag? Can she check to see if that's legitimately gold? Yeah. She can. Can I see what's up with the skull's eye, by the way? The gem? Yeah. I want to see it. I want to see what it is. What it, do I recognize it? Is uh, it... roll arcana, I guess? With that 22 okay. in investigation. <laughs> 14 plus 3, 17. Uh, so and... for Carly, it just looks kind of like a fancy jewel. It seems to have, like, some swirling lights inside it, which is weird. But is is not that weird, you know. Uh, as for uh, Florence, the gold looks real. It looks pretty real, which is weird. Yeah, it's getting super weird on so many levels. That's Florence kind of puts it, uh, you know, just that so she doesn't like tip over. She can only she can only carry so much. If you need me help carrying all that gold, I can help you. Uh, uh, what the heck? Just, it's just weird. Just trying to take everything in stride after catching me. <laughs> going through that. Now, especially a lot to take in, but I get have a double. Um, this place isn't That's real. And I probably officially have lost 30 years. <laughs> but I wasn't enough. This could kill me. Well, for all we know, we've just been unconscious for the last two days, or for the last couple days, and we haven't really lost any time, because dream in dreams, time doesn't move regularly. Ice tramp. That has got to be the most utter, most unrealistic, real thing. If you cast sleep on, if we cast sleep on you, what happens? Nothing. It does not work. <laughs> Which Lord looks at you like I'm I'm a elf. You do realize if I cast sleep on you, what's gonna happen to you? I have no idea. Oh, I won't go to sleep. <laughs> Anything that has elven heritage is immune to sleep spell. And char and charms. I love that rhetorical question. I love you with a rhetorical question. Listen, I've, I've, listen, 
listen, Florence. It's been a very long and difficult two days. How do you think I feel? Just watching myself get, get out the door after just being seen. Trust me, it is weird on my part, too. Florence, apparently we all have doubles. Yeah, and this stuff's gonna be more how raven, cause... Uh, and what do you I think? don't... Sorry, go ahead. I don't know what to think about that, cause... It's weird. Yeah, what do you think the, the quote-unquote evil wedge is gonna be like? Probably like the nicest person in the world, right? <laughs> Florence looks at it and just like has this look of don't know whether to be serious or just be concerned. The real question is, what is Evil Sarah show like? You know, I, I really think we have the evil twin in this scenario. We have him in his re in the real world. Stop breaking the fourth wall. Florence is just like if he's the nicest, if, like, if the double for Wedge is the nicest freaking person, and I mean nicest in the point that he'll offer cookies rather than get angry and start, you know, killing people, I will literally think I will have an interview first with him before he kills, if he does, if he allows it. And probably, I will have to be feeling bad that I might have, yeah, so have to kill him. Oh, or do or or banish him. Whatever can I, whatever works. Can I cast Mage Hand? I mean, you do it all the time, so. <laughs> I know. The, the, what are you about to do? What do you mean? Do you... Can I cast Mage Hand? I'm gonna yeah. cast Mage Hand and see if I can send it out thirty feet away and if it hits anything that I can't see. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. I basically want to see if we're in a room and don't know it. Okay. So which way are you sending it? I will send it towards where, like, say we're, like, right here now. Uh -huh. I'd send it towards the cage with these eyes. Okay. That I still can't see it. I don't know what it looked like. Because I can see the real world, and so I don't think that's there. Is it just an open field? Uh, it's like dead trees. Like a giant scape of dead trees for quite a ways, and beyond that, like, it's tough to see. It's like, hazy. How does Wedge hide in this? I don't know, and uh, the more I think about it, the more I question it. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm not going to question him. Because, like, the skull is dead. He... What you, how did you phrase it, Mr. Skull? Or Mr. Did you gotta look to the skull? How did you phrase it again? The real world? The real nothing? No, no. How did you phrase Ranger? Ah, silly rangers. Silly rangers. Oh, silly rangers. Stole that okay, from this dragon I used to know. Cool whack. Hey, you're right, Donnie. Yeah, he's just following us. Uh, yeah. Hey, what do, you think? what do you think evil Donnie's like? Quack, what do you mean, Donnie? Of course there's an evil Donnie. Quack, oh, you already ate him? Donnie, that's, that's twisted, Donnie. Proud of you, Donnie. Quack. Thanks. Donnie, you're a cannibal okay. and a monster. I think it, at least at least you're in, she look, kind of looks over at Donnie. It's like, at least your problem is easily you can eat, eat it. I don't think you can eat even more. I mean, you could. If he was still dragon-sized, you could probably. Probably, but at the same right, probably it's not going to be the easiest feat. Oh, I never said it'd be easy, but the best things in life rarely are. Go ahead. Still creeped out to that I saw my own double. Does my mage hand hit anything? Uh, it does. It does? What does it hit? A tree. Just a barrel? A tree. Yeah. Okay. 
It looks real enough? Yeah, it looks like a real tree. I'm going to cast Minor Illusion on the tree. And see if that does anything. You're doing Minor Illusion? Make, okay. Minor Illusion. I will make the tree look bright-ass pink. Does it do anything? Uh, it doesn't. It actually doesn't turn bright as pink at all. It turns like a slight shade of yellow for a moment, and then it goes back to like a dead tree. Okay, I'm gonna take out my crossbow, and I'm gonna say, "Roll with me here a second, Florence," and I'm gonna shoot a tree. The tree starts screaming profusely at you and starts slightly bleeding. <laughs> He's just and... joshing, but it's still funny. <laughs> yeah. yep. Meanwhile, Orange is like, This is weird. Don't question it. I'm just shooting a tree. It happens sometimes. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not questioning it. It's just that, um... I don't know what it's like to fail, but... Well, when we were in Zathros' room, we could make the pattern on the wall, remember? Yeah. The... I would say room, more or less. In the runes, yeah, and then we could leave that room. Yeah. So I'm okay. seeing... Are you suggesting yeah. that? Uh, I won't do the whole post. That was weird. Don't mind that. But, uh, I mean, the they're completely armless. Mm, Warren's like, okay, I see what you're saying. Mm. If it counts any, I do 1d8 plus 3 damage onto a tree. That's an 8 plus 3. 11 damage to the tree. So you do 11 damage to the tree, in which point it, uh, like, shoots into the ground at high speed. Like a mole, almost. Like whack-a-mole. And then what appears to be a giant snake pops out in his place. Okay! Okay, I think I may have snooped just a little bit, Florian. And roll intelligence. Or investigation, I guess. Uh, both of us? Yep. Good. Um, and I Michael. rolled an eight. But for a different reason. Plus four. Damn, you both rolled eight. Good job. Well, Twelve. Oh, no. You rolled an eight. She got an eight. And mine is a total of twelve. I shoot the snake. All right. And meanwhile, horns is definitely... Slowly back from the snake. You know. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, I gotta put a. We're like 30 feet away, it's fine. I know, but she wants a little bit more margin and distance from the snake, it's just in case. Um, that's an 11 to hit. Give me a moment. Even if you were to invest bliss and uh, runes and whatnot, even if that was there, where would it be where the room would be inscribed? Like, the room had an area where it was inscribed. Where so that was not a hit, unfortunately. You, like, hit it, but it bounced off of its scales. And yeah, you both see a very crazy... Crazy-ass snake. Man, if only someone was there who could talk to animals. I can't Where's talk it? to animals. <gasps> I can talk to animals, you guys. You say that like Flor and Florence hasn't. I can't do it either. But it just hurts specific. No, I mean like literally. Uh, I can't talk to animals. Yeah, I was about to say, but still, she can still talk to animals. Is the snake making any noise?
Uh, the snake currently is doing slight hissing. Donnie's quacking. Pretty crazy, like. Oh, shit. I could have been speaking with Donnie this entire fucking time. Yeah. Hell. I can't speak with animals. See, someone has it, and it isn't Wedge. There you Hooray! go. <laughs> so now you can speak with animals and all their different languages and comprehend which languages you're speaking in, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, nice. So I, I say. I pulled that down. But... I say, Snake, <laughs> what is happening? In Snake. So Florence hears me go. Uh, the snake says, die, and then attacks. Okay. Duck, what is happening? Quack. Uh, he speaks goose and says, uh, you know, being attacked by some giant snake that isn't there. It's not there. What is happening? Well, I mean, it's definitely not a giant snake, that's for sure. Florence has done. How much distance has Florence slowly accumulated from backing away from that snake? I would say like 15 feet, you know. Oh, probably probably yeah. almost off of the skeleton. Because once again, you still. Skeleton. Oh, well then, yeah, you're so good. Yeah, so Florence is gonna just say, you know, this is where you take a good chance and run. I don't. Can't hurt. Can I run? Yeah. Where are you run. running? Uh, I don't want no one argue. <laughs> let's run. Let's run this way. Okay. This way. Back towards the, our side. Of the what is the attack range of this snake? Ah, oh, it's regular. Luckily for you. If I die, the skull dies. <laughs> hey, listen, the skull is really powerful, I think. So, like, if it doesn't want to die or spend the rest of its life in make poop, it'll save us. Uh, first of all, the compressed soul that we have with us. You, you have a compressed soul? Yeah. You should give it to me. Why? No. But is it? Okay. You never want me to have anything. I am yeah. just ahead. We're gonna ask you why. To return to me on some power so I may smite down all in my path. Oh, great. But we don't know who this thing belongs to. That who cares? What happens if we smash the spirit? Or if we smash the soul? Do you know what happens if we smash the soul? Yeah, yeah, I don't think that would be a good idea. It would be a good idea? Well, I don't think so, but... You know, I've had many a bad idea before, so I'm not one to talk. Uh, what would happen? In my experience, a giant explosion. Inside check, and it's gonna be on you because Corinth doesn't have no good insight, but she gets gives you advantage while we insight check. Nineteen. Plus three, twenty-two. Will it make it explode? Yeah. Hell. He's right. Of course I'm right. I don't lie. I just don't tell you the truth. That is... Subtle that difference. Is <laughs> Subtle difference, but it's still the, it, there is, is the same concept. 
so we are we are running over here. So we're over here now. Okay. Away. And I say, away from the snake, and we're like right here. Thoris is just like, say, where are we running and why? We need to stop shooting the landscape. I stopped shooting the landscape. It's fine. We're done. It's not done with us. We're running away from the snake. That's what's happening right now. If you stop yelling at me. Here's a question. Do you like girls? Maybe. <laughs> what? Where are we going with this question? I mean, this is a hell of a time to ask that question. It eventually wouldn't, you know, give way to a change. It's fine. I'm, I'm waiting for an answer, though. <laughs> I love this question getting worse and better at the same time. Yeah, lots of stuff going on at the same time. Oh, absolutely. I just, I just want to know if he likes girls. Well, I might. If you stop yelling at me and second-guessing all my decisions, I'll hold you a little higher so you're actually against my boobs. Uh, he gets a nosebleed, which shouldn't be possible, but... <laughs> I, th I think someone should get the reference for this character at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually do get it. Yeah, I think someone too. should get the. It took. I'm just using that to humor it. I know one who's enough to know where this is going. <laughs> Alright, everybody make a. Uh, I guess a perception check? That's a dirty 20. Oh, cool. 15. Uh-huh. All right. Welcome Five. back. I should probably roll Okay, good. For... Can you hear me now? Yes. Wonder. So, mm. now that he's yelling at me and second-guessing all my decisions, I do hold him a little higher, so he's just against my boobs. Yeah, I know it's bleeding. But, uh, yeah. Also, you'll have to make a perception check. Perception check. Yeah. Okay, Cat, I can't see what I just rolled. You're uh -huh. in He's sitting on my dice tray, so I can't see that I just rolled an 18. Plus 4 is 22. Okay, so anybody with a 15 or over, you hear a loud, ungodly screeching sound. Yeah. Like a giant cat. <gasps> the cat. And uh, now make a uh, constitution save. Once again, is it, everybody. Is it, is it magic induced? Uh, no, this one's not. Um, um. Ooh, ooh. Not great. Um, no, not then. 10 plus three is 13. You want me to make a constitution as well? Yeah. That's a 14. Alrighty. Uh, so I think everybody... Uh, yeah, nobody got over a 15. Except for... Uh, well, the two people who didn't have to roll because they weren't paying attention. Hashtag Donnie and Catharis. Rolled too low to hear it. <laughs> but uh, everybody is going to be frozen for one full turn. Yeah, just that nail on the chalkboard. Frozen, you know. What's that was wrong? Terrible. What's wrong with all of you? Donnie, this is why I told you we shouldn't wear earplugs all day every day. You know, I can still, like, I can still understand Donnie what Donnie is saying. Oh, she is right. Quack. Hey, Do you know how to turn into a dragon? Cool whack. Oh, 
Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Quack. And what does that mean? I mean, you deaf, not deaf, you idiot. What does that mean? Quack. So you just see Carly and Donnie quacking at each other, Lauren. Yeah, they're technically yeah, speaking they're... geese, by the way. <laughs> yeah, which one doesn't understand anything. I mean, not unless you can comprehend language, but even then, comprehend language does nothing. Not on that language. Remembers, remembers what? Quack. They really fit a lot of syllables into these quacks. At which point, like, yeah. At which point, Do at which point, uh, Cathars is like, Donnie's a master of lingual arts. He's so Never. good at conveying a message. How do I whisper the GM? Uh, w space G. Okay, thank you. Is that the right thing or is it the other one? It's this one. Uh, it's the one that the shift question mark. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bunk. You hear me say? Quack. Terrible accent. Quack. Are we still frozen in blade while this is going on? Nah, you're good now. That only lasted a turn. Yep. I don't, I don't, I don't. Just still. Funny to just take picture. Florence is just still standing still walking. Well, I think you are standing still. Like, you're, you could be standing still just watching us quack at each other like the way the, my niece watches me meow at my cat. That sounds about right, right about now. It's hilarious. Quack. I am not a dumbass, Donnie. I am Dumas. Catharis yeah. Dumas. Oh, so that's your whole name. See, this game is hard. Out of character, I'm gonna say this game is hard because I'm also stupid as fuck. It's rough. <laughs> Yeah, but at the same rate, Florence can't speak any. Can't speak duck. Monk. Can't speak duck. Technically, it's goose. He's a duck, though. Yeah, but he doesn't speak duck. I speak duck. Donnie only speaks geese, mallard, and a couple of other languages. Mallard is duck. It's a subsection of duck. It's not the same. Would you say Portuguese and Spanish are the same? Does that mean in this world there is a Spain and a Portugal? It might be. I've never Did been, but Donnie went. Did the war happen? Nah, in that one it was the it was actually the Italian Inquisition. Good. God. And it was the Nordics who invaded Spain. Damn, unmoreds. <laughs> and their boats. And I say Where Florence Florence, what do you think? Should we while I wait for the duck answered, should we 
go to the middle of all this. The middle of this the middle of the carnival. I see if we do we're gonna have to be smart about it. I've never done that before in my life. <laughs> At which point <laughs> uh, means we're gonna have to be careful about this because if there's a bunch of ra uh, 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 doubles of us running around, that means this could be the easiest or hardest yeah, part of it. Part of it. Why, did, why did Wedge run away when he knows there's doubles of both of us? And you told me not to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I just not. I just love that because he has actual no clue right now for all he knows especially the way this campaign works <laughs> he, he for all he knows he's not even in the same section he thinks he's in well I'm just looking at him uh, looking at uh, Carly and like and you told me not to leave yeah oh, which which but reminds me it's an, it's another intelligence check Everybody. Oh no. Oh! That's 18. I rolled an 18. 18. 18. A street 18. With Te everything. Technically, I rolled a 19, but since I have to take one. Ah! 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 <laughs> Man. He's gonna have a tough time seeing anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with a dirty 20, uh, you get to see something fun. Oh, no. A very angry, very, very angry looking cat has made its way over here. And the top it rides wedge. Seriously? Maybe. And which does Ford see that or no? Uh, that is gonna be a y yes, but uh, you know you don't quite see it as much because for you there's like some slight building blockage here, but for. Uh, for Carly, there's no building blocks for you to see the whole thing. And which one? She's like, which way did Wedge go, though? He went straight, so, right? I think he went that way, and I point towards the towards our side of the carnival. And I say, on Wedge! I have a feeling this is a bad choice. Please tell me this is a. What? This door just keeps randomly opening and it's tripping me out. Doesn't get when I say it, boy wedge. Okay, hold, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at them. <laughs> oh, because I told you this whole thing is on drugs. <laughs> yes, you're aware. And Wedge is slowly taking it in with some deep freaking breaths. Meanwhile, Ford is just slowly, but surely, trying not to lose her shit. I think oh, maybe it's oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Axel, one ah. one chat. <laughs> this is great. I love it because I do him so smooth that no one ever pays attention. All right, let's... Uh, I gotta go to the thing. I'm not on the right star. All right, uh, there we go. So, so, you remember when you were searching for the, uh, the fucking, uh, gunpowder and stuff, and I had uh -huh. you doing that list of perception investigation checks? Yeah? I slipped in an extra one there to see if you fell back under. Oh, God. <laughs> Which is, it's always, that's why you see me keep hitting them every five or ten minutes, because it reapplies. And so, out of character, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be totally honest, and some of them might don't know it right now either. Is uh, there's been a lot of people who are not or are not even where their character thinks they are. So, so that is actually me on the cat. Yeah, you think you're hiding on like a bush. 
<laughs> You're like, I'm gonna build them like fucking man, I'm so good. This is the best cover. And it's basically just compensating with the illusion. Which is funny because guess where you know you you don't need to know where evil wedge is right now. <laughs> But it's just suffice to say that Evil Wedge did that. He was like, hmm, yes, I'm going to let this play out. And meanwhile, Sarah Show is just like, yes, this is history in the making. Anyway, I'll see you back in the chat. Yeah. I love I sneaking in dumbass can't, stiff. I can't fucking even write that. The fun thing is I write all these into like some of the stream stuff, which is why I, I appreciate, well, right now, uh, Diffie's not in, but usually she keeps quiet about all the stuff I'll put out on the stream and just type and not actually put in. All right, so you want you want to pose that question to Wedge again? Uh, all right, what, what, um, what, what, like what Carly said to Wedge? I said, oi, Wedge. Wait a minute. How can you see me? Uh, Go ahead and roll that perception or investigation, Wedge. Oh my god. I have. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do perception, but my perception bonus is higher. That's a 21 perception. There you go, you finally. <laughs> Wait a minute. What the fuck am I doing on this cat? I would thought I was hiding in the bushes. Uh, You're on a Did I say that out loud? You know what? I think you think it just he never mind. I, uh, I also want this to be something, and I, I forgot to mention it because there was a cat going on, so you might not have noticed. Uh, there's, uh, you're not holding the skull. What? Where's the skull? <clears throat> Perception. In the meantime, we can make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a six gonna, for free. I'm gonna make the joke anyway. You're only riding that because you can't get any pussy in real life. Don't. <laughs> I think even Sarah's show is gonna be like. Burn. <laughs> Speaking of burn. <laughs> My, uh, did you, you say perception, by the way? Yes. Perception. It's dirty 20. Ooh, a dirty 20? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Florence actually still sees the skull in your hand um, and can hear it talk, but for you, it's, it's a rock. <laughs> Donnie is going to go quack. God, I fucking can't anymore. I still speak the animals, so what does it say? You know, Florence is like, what the heck are you doing on top of that cat? I just said he's riding it because he can't get any pussy in real life. I, I know that. I know that. And Florence like, looks better. And like, I know that, but what is he? To be honest, I didn't even know I was riding a cat. I mean, I've got one way to go about it. I don't think oh, you should ride your bed. Quack. I am not dumb, Donnie. <laughs> the way of it, I say in common. To say what? Quack. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm having a fucking aneurysm right here. <laughs> Why are you having an aneurysm? Because this is really fucked up. Speaking yeah, of, uh, speaking of, can everyone, uh, direct your attention to a flaming arrow, which, uh, has just flown, uh, into the cat's anus. <laughs> Sorry, and I say flo flaming, but it's actually explosive. Um, <laughs> and this cat is not happy now. So I... I mean, it's alive. 
Am I gonna have to do like a reflex to see if I stay on the cat? I think so, yeah, probably. Yeah, have fun with that deck save. Yeah, that's uh, good. That's a 24. Oh, hey, you should be good. Uh, so now what I want you to do is make... I'll let you do the perception since I know it's higher for you. It's gonna be near impossible for you to hit your investigation roll. You have to crit. Because you gotta hit 20. <laughs> 17 on my perception. All right. Uh, unfortunately, you uh, you think there's some buildings around here to jump to. Oh, God, no. <laughs> so you're going to jump to the buildings. Would you like I'm to sure make... The cat can do any damage to me. Wedge jumps off the cat onto what he thinks is a building. Pause. Do I, do I see any buildings? Currently, with do yours, uh, no, but uh, Florence does. Fall. <laughs> 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 Could you even save him? I have another fall in three to six feet. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you and could I, save him, probably. And which Florence is thinking about it, because Florence also has Featherfall, but at the same rate, she is a wee bit um, <clears throat> petty. I will be honest here. They're going to be a wee bit. A wee bit. About a wee bit. To be fair, I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't be. I'm not saying you shouldn't be petty for it. I'm just saying a wee bit. Maybe not a wee bit. A wee bit. Because she does know there is a building. <laughs> she does know there is a building. I mean, she does. She knows that. As much as she knows anything is real right now. Yeah, she sees a building there. Yeah, so, but, then again, so, but then again, she just saw her double, so uh, Carly shoot a tree and it turns into a snake. Um, he, uh, listening to a mythology from a skeleton that see that it's still on her, but probably is not. At which point, by the way, you and uh, Michael both still see the skeleton just screaming, oh, it's a giant cat. I hug the rock to Florence. And while Wedge is gently floating back to the earth. Actually, can I miss, miss Featherfall about one feet from the ground? Yeah, I mean, you can definitely choose to do that. That's totally up to you. Okay. I do. I don't want him to do it. I don't want him to take any damage. I just want him to look silly. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. fair, yeah. That is fair. Well, to be well, fair, 10 feet of damage, I believe, is a little bit many, of damage, but I mean, it's good. It should be good. Yeah, that is It's like 1d4 or something. It's not that, that much. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's pretty good. I like that. I think that's a good choice. Okay. I just miss it about 10 feet from the ground, so he has to hold on his butt. Okay. And once again, we are going to do... I never specified how he falling off so uh, ah, ah. jumping off it's true and the way he jumped off is he went to do like, like you know like a superman jump mm -hmm. so he's kind of falling like kind of stomach first because he was going to tuck and roll mm -hmm. before he hit the ground well he just kind of as he was feather falling he's just kind of like this is fucking weird. So he wasn't ready to tuck and roll. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so about right. Fell ten feet face first. <laughs> sounds like wedge. That building broke my fall. I'm crying. <laughs> that kind of hurt. <laughs> so Florence is literally having it, and she's loving it. I'm just, I'm just gonna lay here for a moment. Don't worry. I do want to remind people of the existence of said giant cat, which is still pissed. I am, I, I'm sorry, Wedge incapacitated his two lady friends. <laughs> so, 
So the way I just now, I'm going to say he's about like... What the fucking thing is? He's about right here. Face down, on the ground. Uh, I made this slight indentation in the ground. Uh, and when Swan is launching and having a field of a time, and she's like peering over just to see if she can see it. Smiling a little bit, like in <laughs> Okay. To be fair, we didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. But that was beautiful. Thank you. And she looks over at Carly and just like, you know. The entertainment, I am here all week. One <sighs> smiled and just said, you know, that, that, that works for me too. That, that, I, I, that definitely helps when I, with the headache and all the chaos. Just that was beautiful. Oh, you're welcome. Speaking of, uh, if you would like to make your choice of a perception or investigation check. Uh, All of them? Yes. Ooh. Everybody. Do I really have to consider my like, face here? I'm on the ground right now. It's important. The pain. The pain triggers it. The pain triggers it. I love it. I freaking love it. Perception. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. I rolled a seven for perception. Yeah, that's poo poo. It, it doesn't matter for me either because I got seventeen either way. Yep. Y'all, I got another twenty. All right. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. How do I do this? I wish I could show certain things to some people and not others, but I can't. But uh, basically, good. you finally see what's going on. You've, you've hit enough of those consistently, you know, and, and gotten out of the the thing. Uh, usually, there's like no. I mean, I'll send you. I'm gonna. I'll just send you a screenshot real quick of what it looks like. Okay. God damn it! I want a light shot. One sec. All right. Yeah, uh, like she's having. It, it has a stupid <sighs> smile on her face. Like she she's enjoying this. Like she's having a wee bit of enjoyment for a, for her for her for her payment for chaos, all the chaos she has dealt with. I was just gonna have a little laugh at Wedge's expense when he fell on his ass. <laughs> this is fucking no, belly flop. You not my ass. <laughs> I'm going to say, I well, you know, have an I'm ass face, you. so. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, where, where is it, actually? Christ's sake. Um. What's all the blood? Where's the blood? Oh, that's a, that's a body. Where? How big of a body is that? Oh, it's big. Where the heck is it? You could try to recognize it if you wanted. You can also, if you look... If you can, if you look closely, you also see one under the cat. See it there? Where is it? Oh, yeah, I do. Hey, you guys I can't see it. it. She can only see this. Are we shrunk? Is this a hun is this the honey I shrunk the kid situation? <laughs> do, I still roll a, do I still roll a percentile dice to see if I recognize it? Uh, you can, yeah. What's my other option? I mean, just to, to, actually, I don't. I don't think there is another option. So yeah. Fair. Thirty-eight. I mean, you don't recognize it specifically, uh, but if you had to guess, it looks kind of like a storm giant. A storm giant? Yeah. Okay. Wedge is gonna push himself up off the ground and like kind of dust the excess dirt off of him. I want to say as he does this, um, I wanna... one second, I, I gotta find it. Forge is gonna ask one smart question while he's dusting himself off. Okay. You know you're not gonna dust yourself off any cleaner, right? <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> So then, uh, basically, as you uh, come up and you're dusting yourself off, it has positioned itself like this. You know, who is just smiling, say, I'm sorry, but not sorry. Um, 
Hey, Wedge. Maybe you should, like, come over here. At least move a little bit back. Why? I get out. Yeah. I think. Kathar's gonna yell, There's a giant cat behind you! Yeah, that too. That too. I think I killed one of those once. <laughs> and Tharis just goes, I think I killed one of those once. Quack, what do you mean that was a regular cat? Who's a pretty kitty? Yo! I have speak with animals still. Can I talk to the cat? I mean, I think so. Hi, cat. Yo. Please tell me, and Ford kind of looks over at Carly, please tell me it comes in peace, or is it just the hostile, everything else in this place? Uh, I'm gonna use speak with animals too. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's food. It wants food. Uh, and then Michael's gonna have to make a reflex check. Uh, deck save. Yep. Uh, I know what a reflex is. Access to my book. Oh! Nat 20! Suck it! Well you're, total well, you're lucky it was a ro good roll, so it can't suck it. The meat off your bones, that is, as it tries to bite you. And you roll deftly out of the way. Yeah, okay, that, that I answers my... I am not food, you damn cat. No. Yeah, no. no uh, 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 it says fast food. <laughs> Meow, and then swings its paw. I'm not food. Oh, hey, that's actually a good hit. And. In the meantime, it's slowly backing away and saying, you know. Alright, so not, it, uh. I, mean, I, I, I know I've never was a uh, stand up comedian, but I'm not. I don't want to end up fat of seafood. So it, uh. <laughs> It rolled a 19 to hit armor class, and it did 9 damage, and now you must make a strength check. While that's happening, can I cast that Minor Illusion? Okay. So, it knocks you back 10 feet, but does not knock you off your feet. So it knocks you, it used its right paw, and it knocks you 10 feet this way. Now. You know, I'm trying to be real fucking nice to you, cat. I'm not gonna say anything. Point's gonna mutter. Like, I'm not gonna um, say it. Say it. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move right here. And then I'm gonna cast right where my little arrow is. Actually, no, I'm gonna cast it right here. I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion. Okay. And make a little red dot. That's about five feet big. Like right it's here? Five foot red dot. <laughs> right here. Yeah, this is happening. Yep. Uh, All right. Yep. Yep. Let's see. Let's see how this cat feels about this. Oh, shit. And I'm going to wiggle around in front of Wedge. All right, I'm going to have to make. Hey, hey, hey. No, no. Oh, man. Yes, yes. Let's do this because I need. I wish I had Run! So it's gonna. I was gonna lead it away. <laughs> He's like, I can't trust you because I can't trust myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is with evil people. This is like, I'm untrustworthy. Everyone is untrustworthy. Uh, but it actually does work, and the cat swats at it and makes a big dent in the ground. And for you, it actually is currently the area it would be swapping at would be, let's see, I mean, pretty much where Wedge was on the picture before. Yeah. Me, me while Florence is gonna help by doing dancing lights and kind of do it like as a colored red dot, series of red dots, to see if it can try to catch it. Okay, and where, going, where sorry, are you gonna guys. send these? <laughs> Or are they staying right there? Uh, they're moving around. How do you roll two 13s in a row, D100? You bitch. So it's distracted by the lights. No. Pretty lights. 
and I say, catch the pretty lights, and I start sending it away from us. Yep. And I'm going to do that, too. Use, use it. Which All right, which which way are you sending it? We are gonna please hopefully go the same direction, like this way. Okay, so you're sending it back that way. Yeah, away. Meanwhile, let's see. Okay, so yeah, it gets to right there, give or take. Meow. Pretty lights. Meow, my butt. I'm sorry for your butt. I don't know what happened. You're a very pretty kitty. You're a good cat and a pretty cat. Oh. Now. Food? Food is that way. I'm going in this direction. Speaking of investigation, perception roll. And after that, oh, we might. That, can I... Oh, go can ahead. Can I also insight check Wedge? Yeah. What are you trying and... to insight check? I'm trying to see if he's the real Wedge. That's yeah, a good... I was about to say that. <laughs> uh, 18 on the insight. I mean, he seems Ooh. like the real Wedge. I mean, he's an asshole like the real <laughs> Oh, actually, 21 on the insight. I forgot to actually add my bonus. Yeah, I mean, he seems like the real wedge. And the investigation was a 16. Ooh. Perception is a So, uh, you slip back into the carnival. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Because the, cause the, it was either perception or investigation. I choose actually perception. I add the same four bonus, but then I add the additional food from the glasses. Oh, yeah, those glasses ain't real. They just regular glasses. But they don't they don't they don't give me the phone in. No, they they was illusion glasses, baby. I'm sorry. Aw, I wanted the magic item. Ooh. I mean you can still get you one. Away, you took away my skull and you took away my glasses. <laughs> I took away everything. <laughs> and you took and my away my clothes and I took it all away. It was beautiful. Wait a minute, what about the, uh, the spear? Is the spear real? You're not gonna like the answer. I I Wait, I forgot, spear. you found the spear in the tomb, right? Yes. Not from, what's his name? No. Oh wait, no, it doesn't matter. They're both fake. Blah! <laughs> I've got a theory. Oh, that was that was from the Buffy episode where they were a musical. I've got a theory. Some kid is dreaming, and we're all stuck inside this wacky Broadway nightmare. Um, I've got a theory. We should go back to Zathros' house. Do you have any I, other be do you have any better ideals? I'm just not even sure you've left. I'm not sure we left either. <laughs> which is why I'm gonna go back. Exactly. That's my point of agreeing, but also staffing led to your thing. Do you have a better idea? Do you want to play with a giant cat? I I'll leave you the point uh the laser pointer. But you have fun with the cat. Hey, Florence, you can't you can't ask a man if he wanna keeps playing with the pussy. They always wanna keep doing that. It's true. I mean oh. it's a cat. 
Yeah, I mean, in this instance, I'm referring to the giant cat, not the, you know, whatever. What did you think I was referring to? What? Just say. But men, they can only think with one brain at a time. Yeah, I mean, there's not much out there for him, especially. How and do you know there's what, nothing anywhere else? I mean, he has this pet snake, but I think that's maybe the only thing that does any other thing. Okay, okay, we're, we're solving the in front of Wedge before one of us dies. <laughs> It was what is walking slowly away. Don't go too far away. Uh, I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to, you know, think further before we go into anything. Florence is going to cast major armor on herself. <laughs> Probably. Uh, as well as to go do her special ability. Alrighty, which all? Wait, Smilly, am I talking about? No, 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 something else. Uh. Hey guys, good question. When did Florence or when did Diffy leave? Ah, yes. Oh, wow, back. She was having issues with Discord and like chatting to get like the stuff done she needed done, so she wouldn't. And she wasn't feeling too good, so she she oh, kind of took off. Question. Yeah. Better. Alrighty, I see that one and I'll try to keep a log of it. I was gonna say I'm probably gonna have to pop out of here in about five to ten, so we'll have to wrap it up. Yeah. But I think we did pretty good. We started a little earlier than usual today, which is good. Can I before we end, can I run back to the boar skeleton? and get the real skull? I mean, I, yeah. Just gonna have to go past the snake. We want to sneak past the snake. Alright, stealth it up. Ooh, not great. Nine plus stealth of four, so thirteen. Uh, I think you probably need to pass the snake's passive thing, but let me check. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, yeah, you got past it. Just barely. Awesome. I go grab the real skull. Alright, you're gonna need to do a perception and an investigation check. One or the other. Okay. One or the other. One or the other. Yeah. Don't fuck this up. 19. Plus. Uh. Doesn't matter, each one's four. So that would be a 23. So you see him on the chair, he's like, why did you just leave me here? This place sucks, Skull. Yeah, tell me about it. I've been here 200 years, I think. You don't know how long you've been here. I don't know how long I've been here. I pick up the Skull, and now it's in my arms. And I run back to the group. Poor Skull, he never did get that boob touch. <laughs> <laughs> At which point he says, I know this might be a great imposition, but could I see your panties? Okay, bro. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. God damn it. I make uh, like I'm reaching into my pocket and I pull out my middle finger. He's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, I just don't know what I expected. You did leave me back there, after all. I did not leave you back there. I thought we took you with us, I say, as I'm running back to my friends. They always do. You can't manipulate me. <laughs> He's like, damn it. <laughs> and uh, I think that's a good place to cap it for now. Because any more will draw us into some more bullshit, I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> yep, but it was great. Still, I love that uh, it, no one ever notices. Like, I'll ask first, like, oh, well, let me get that investigation perception chance. What did I notice? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Which I don't you... know what that means. Oh, it means what it means. You didn't notice it. You didn't roll high enough to notice it. 
<laughs> but what were my wrong, ladies and gents? Oh man, some people were having like Michael got some really good ones and then some not really good ones. And then you guys are just rolling like awful all day. You guys could not roll good for the life of you. I, I started rolling good near the end. You did good at the beginning too. You got a couple of crits, but man in the middle there, those were not doing you no favors. I, I'm just like, man, eventually they'll break out of this. They, I've got a lot of hints on the board. Just, they got, a, they got a, a character now to lead them on the right track. Even if he's a pervert, there's, there's, there's things to be done. They got this. And then I'm like, nope, all right, well, they've rolled like ass today. I'm going to just have to throw it at them. Evil Florence, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Which was great because she just yeeted and said, nope, fuck She's that. like, not yeah, ye just yeeted herself out of the tent. <laughs> like, nope, nope, fuck that shit. I am not taking that hit. <laughs> exactly. Then, of course, giant cat Michael. Which goes great because he had no clue. I love it. I, I hit it really well behind some other actions that were going on. I'm just like, all right, in, in perception check here, insight check, and then investigation check, and then this. It's like, wait, what? Which what, what, was there an insight check in there? What's going on here? That's how <laughs> I do I like, it. And I love how this went. It was great. It did well. This one, I, I wasn't sure how today's session was actually going to progress after last session. Because I was like, how is it going to move towards where the ending needs to be? Which, I'm just... well, God. Which was great, because Florence at least felt like she got even, as well as she got to reunite with Rick and Ursul. Which was a big part of that. Which I love that Ursul has not brought up anything. He was getting there, but then there were mistakes in some places. There's a lot. The problem is... Communication is not as fast as I wish it was. I need a button where I can just be like, all right, now I'm talking to Michael for a second. Now I'm like, I need to be able to do that with my audio stuff and Discord won't let me because it sucks. I'm just, I'm just really happy that I got to unleash the best burn of my life. It was a good yes. one. Yeah. It was a good burn. And Florence got, got, got to watch the... I got even on some of the shit that uh, Wedge has done. I mean, to be fair, you didn't really do anything. You just kind of watched it happen. But it was worth watching. Mm -hmm. It was okay. worth watching. That was goddamn that was player. Hmm? That was what? What were you saying about Wedge? Nothing. Absolutely not. No. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. We want to hear it. We just couldn't hear what you said. Good. Oh, gee, me. And, uh, Carly found out then? <laughs> the what? The whole floor is older part. Like, yeah, hey, yeah. 30 years. <laughs> That's almost longer than I've been alive. At least as so far as you remember. Dun, dun, dun! Yeah. I love this but adventure. No, what, I I just... was, uh, what I said was... It's okay. You may have laughed at Wedge and made a joke at him, but Wedge got his revenge. Yeah, by insulting, calling Florence a bad pet owner, like as if she. Oh, oh no, oh no! This was in like the past ten minutes. You guys do not keep on your guard enough, by the way. Especially having known this person has been messing with you. I mean, How do you, guard? you can roll I mean, for reactions and to stay on guard. It makes anybody trying to do anything for you roll with disadvantage. Or, well, you can't have double disadvantage, but you do can just have regular disadvantage. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's being alert is an action you can take as a reactive state. No one ever does it, though. Um, that's not in my book. Or in my, in my DMV Beyond. It's not a basic action. It would be under, like, uh, prep actions. I don't see it. It basically falls under the same category as prepping a bolt in your crossbow before combat. So uh, they might have changed that in 5e. Hmm. Yeah. They have changed alert to a feat. Yeah, I was about to say that that's why we were like, you know, alert which, which 
which barbarians actually get a version of that for free. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't play for barbarians. Barbarians. I mean, not unless you. I mean, if I do do it, I know what I will do it as a joke character, and I know what the joke character will be inspired by. Cause gosh, actually, no, I barbarian. No, because it's a joke. Sorry, go ahead. I was, I was thinking, if I was going to do a bard, a barbarian, it was going to be inspired by that old show, Dave the Barbarian. <laughs> oh come on! I'm gonna, no but but due I've to never her been. wonder, I am now contemplating on making a bard barrier. Don't do it. No, that I was mean pretty, that was a pretty great thing. I've had one. He slayed the Jabberwocky, but then it was a dragon. I meant barbarian. But I'm gonna be real mad if Wedge ends up stealing my pervert pervert skull. <laughs> it's mine. It has a gem in its eye. It's mine. I, I tried that once. It didn't succeed like I wanted it to. It's true. I mean, can, and this is, can I just say this? And hopefully nothing bad comes out of it. Oh, wait a minute. Why is it that you two are trying to steal from each other? I don't know. Because she doesn't have anything I want. Then why are you trying to steal from me? I just wanted the skull. And I didn't get it. Mine. I, I mean... Also, you don't know what I have, Wed. I know, Discord. right? Oh, you missed that part then. I said you don't know what I have, Wed. Yeah, my, my Discord fucked up. But yeah, I, I wanted this skull because I'm thinking it's something fun. Should you begin to chaos and flow with a talking skull? But since I didn't get it, get it, I gave up on it. I'm more terrified of what is going to be the next commitment of things you're going to go after now. now oh, I already don't... got something. Was it- did you steal something from me? No. Cool. I don't care What was, was it from Florence? It might have been. Believe me, that it wasn't what I wanted, though. What the heck did you say? Uh, Wedge may have stolen that spear from you. And which you can almost... But, what, what are you gonna do with it, though? I told you, See, I didn't you want the spear. I wanted the fucking compressed soul. That's right. Bitch. But also, when you steal, you don't steal for stealing something. You steal for the fun of it. And plus, why steal? I mean, I was, I was trying to steal the compressed soul. For what? And wait a minute, when did you try to steal the soul? Uh, literally like five minutes ago, when you're all distracted with distracting the cat. Uh, Florence was far away enough that you cannot take it. At least not I easily. I stealthed and moved over there. That's why I didn't move my character, because it would have been too much away what I was doing. Seriously? Is this sneaky stuff of fun? I, I rolled like 20 something on my sleep and rolled a 17 on the sleight of hand, and then I had a little 100 with 79, and Axel told me I stole the spear. <laughs> He's really a son of a bitch. I'm starting to think, uh, this one, I thought Toyo was bad with being a kleptomaniac, but then there's that. If she ever decides to be a kleptomaniac. I, I just want the 
just the soul. Why? Why? Because I want Wedge to eat it. What the heck? Let him, let him, let him eat it. <laughs> let him eat it. No. I want to see someone explode. I want to see someone explode. Stupid enough, he won't know it's actually a compressed soul. He'll think it's like a giant wiggly marshmallow or something. Um. Oh. I don't want this. You know, Lord normally would feel, uh, feel that this would be a waste of time, but you know what? We're not in game. This is not uh, canon. Of course. <laughs> but watching him eat it and explode then afterward I mean, might uh, get him. I'm not gonna lie, it is canon that Wedge does want the fucking compressed soul that he thinks is a fucking giant wiggly marshmallow slash jello thing. Oh, well, Even yeah, that's. Definitely. But we don't know that. All right, so that's the. Wait a minute, wait a you wait a can. Wasn't he in the room when the, uh, what's his face told us that it was a compressed soul? No, he left. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, of course he did. So he missed me. Food, I know. Okay, and so that was the difference. Uh, so when you're being pickpocketed, usually just regularly, if you're not on prep, you have to use your passive perception. But you get a roll versus perception if you're prepared for things to happen. So that actually means that I would have stolen that skull without her knowing. Uh, you could have, but that once again, if she was prepped, she would have been able to make a opposing check. I would have just been like, all right, I need you to make a perception check. And if she'd have been able to roll it. Whereas usually you get away with it because you're higher than their passive perception. As long as you roll higher than someone's passive perception, you beat their stealth. They're and noticing their stealth. Thing, I'm going to do it a lot. A lot of people do. The problem is, well, actively doing that, you can't necessarily actively do intense tasks you can talk and do other shit but like for example you can't do that while you're fighting or which is fine because yeah. trying to pickpocket from someone who's fighting would be a disadvantage anyway so he's moving so bam sword in the face yeah or concentrating on a spell worth it i'll keep it in mind <laughs> you know buddy Florence watches this happen. She is not reviving your app. She is not wasting wish for your app. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, why would you eat that thing? Also, if you do steal from me, I will shoot you with a crossbow. No joke, for real. <laughs> Florence will literally watch the shit happen because she knows. And has been verified by a skull, talking skull, that he will explode. Right? I mean, I was there for that. Yeah. But Don't then. Steal and but another then... reason why you all never noticed me until I popped out and said, oh, that was fucky, was because I had passed without trace, so I had a additional plus 10 on top of my plus 5 to stealth. Dude. You're going which, to waste it. Which he's already yield, Yeah, he already wasted again for today, so he doesn't have it again. It's out. <laughs> <laughs> so he usually, he literally wasted like the last 5 minutes trying to take that spear. And I wasn't even trying to get the spear, I was trying to get what Wedge thinks is a food item. You know, there's some part of Florence that if she found this out, she would be like, she, I, I think she would probably say, you know what? If we survive this, Carly, we're gonna go get drinking, uh, go get some drinks, and when you go do that, and see where that takes you, just don't call me. But I want you to watch me eat it so I so they know how tasty it is and how much it's missing out. I definitely want to watch it. Mm, Florence would not. Just stay, like, 530 feet away. Is that enough, DM? Qu yeah. Oh, that? <laughs> 20 feet for what? If he eats it and explodes. I don't know, man. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> you created it, and... I created a lot of things. I created the new monster, too. That isn't anywhere. 
This is an interesting <laughs> monster. I also created this giant cat monster. <laughs> it has two claws, a bite attack, and a tail whip attack. But the thing is that it's gonna have me cracking up laughing as oh, I just realized this staff is missing, because she is going to need something relatively better than what she has in her, on her hand. Which is a dag staff. It's a spear. Exactly! Yeah, but she can still use the, uh, uh, the spear. How's this? Next time we do this session, I'll have Wedge approach Florence and be like, Hey, I'll give you the spear if you give me that jello blob thing you got. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see how many pieces he explodes into. <laughs> it's like, what did he do? He ate a compressed soul? Huh. Why? He thought it was a marshmallow. Dumbass. Great. And with that, I think we'll call that the end of the stream. Yeah.